Hey guys, okay, so welcome to another video. I know it's been a while. Um, this is the, um, sorry, I'm trying, I know I'm trying to kind of fix my stuff up. My hair is a bit of a bird's nest. Um, okay, so it's been a while since the last video. I think almost three or four months. It's been kind of hectic on my side, so I haven't really had time for you know, writing things out and writing reviews and uh, filming them. So let's actually do a review. Um, I read this again recently. This is the book we're discussing tonight. Single White Vampire by Lindsay Sands. Uh, what can I say about this? Um, it's an urban fantasy or romance thing <laughs> uh, I really I don't know what to call this you know I guess a paranormal romance maybe um, I got this you know like a couple of the other vampire books that I have on my shelf I actually got this from my uh, my grandmother um, I don't know if she ever read it because she kind of just bought a whole lot of vampire books and um, you know we we used to sit and watch vampire movies and horror movies together and she really got hooked on the vampire stuff you know Blade and um, um, Dracula and all those other things so I don't I don't know if she actually read this um, all I know is she went out she bought a whole lot of like vampire and, and paranormal romance stuff and uh, this was one of them so uh, the story is pretty simple um, you have an author who is um, a vampire who falls in love with an editor from the publishing company that publishes his books um, now the relationship starts off kind of rocky she just kind of she rocks up at his house and kind of camps out there um, trying to get him to um, do an event. He's kind of reclusive. He doesn't really like the idea. And um, his mom, I think it, if, you know, it's his mom and uh, the, this, le the, this editor, uh, Kate, um, and they kind of trick him into doing a convention. So they, they say it's like a, a book signing, if I remember correctly. Oh, okay. No, so he was supposed to do a book tour. That was what she was trying to persuade him to do. And um, so he didn't want to do it originally. And then his mother and Kate kind of worked together to persuade him to do it. And they end up tricking him into doing it, <laughs> which I thought was pretty funny. Um, and yeah, that, that's kind of the framing device is they go to this, this um, romance convention. Um, he wins a couple of awards and they end up kind of, you know, um, getting together, let's say. Um, <laughs> uh, pros and cons. I mean, it's a good book. I'm, I'm not going to lie. This is a very well-written book. Um, um, you know, Sands has a very easy to read writing style. It's not, um, it's not super heavy. I've noticed that a lot of these paranormal romance books, uh, they tend to lean a little bit too much into the prose. And uh, what I mean by that is they like to use a lot of flowery writing to um, make a big deal out of small um, issues, um, making mountains out of molehills, essentially. Um, this one doesn't do that. It just kind of says, oh, okay, this is what's happening. Um, and I actually really appreciated that. So it's, 
you know, I've said this before, but I'm not really a romance guy. Um, I kind of prefer my vampire books to actually be kind of scary. And, um, yeah, so the writing style is really good. I liked the, um, I, I liked the story. I liked the, the kind of the romance aspect of it. It did kind of progress just a little too quickly for my liking. Um, these people kind of, um, they spend very little time together and then they kind of just hook up at the end of the book which i mean it's fine but at the same time it's kind of like yeah really it kind of requ requires a bit of suspension of disbelief which is i guess kind of what the point of the of fiction is in general um apart from that um i quite i actually kind of liked the um the vampire mythos in this in this one, um, Sands actually brings up a pretty interesting change to the mythos. They don't have to, um, they aren't like supernatural or cursed creatures. Um, some of it, um, and then this, this is, I suppose, kind of a spoiler, but some of it is kind of out there. Uh, Lucerne, the, the vampire in the story, um, at one point he's explaining that um, he's, he's kind of telling Kate what vampires are and uh, he explains that, you know, they're actually um, Atlanteans, like people of Atlantis, which okay, uh, interesting take, I, I will admit, but a little out there, and um, well, not a little, a lot out there, but, you know, again, fiction. Um, and they have nano machines instead of like a curse. You know, Atlantis is supposed to be like super advanced or was super advanced according to all the, the stories about it. And, um, you know, apparently when the, um, you know, they kind of ended up, they, they created like nano machines which um, require the uh, consumption of human blood to kind of keep them going. Otherwise, they end up eating um, the kind of the flesh, I guess, of the vampires in question, which is described as being very painful, which I actually quite liked. Um, the weaknesses, um, the weaknesses aren't really well defined. That's kind of something that I noticed very early on. Um, Lucerne talks about how they can go out in daylight, but it's kind of uncomfortable for them. And prolonged exposure actually destroys the nanomachines and they kind of have to replicate themselves, which is, again, very unpleasant. Um, the only kind of clear weak point is that if you stake them through the heart, they die. And... Um, I mean that that's kind of a standard point in the in vampire mythology in general. You know, the heart is the organ that pumps all the blood through. Um, apart from that, it, you know, that's kind of the only problem that I have with the book. Um, it's well paced. Um, like I said, the romance part of it kind of progresses too quickly for me. But. Um, you know, it, it's kind of like, oh, we'll talk for a bit, and then I think it's, what is it? Um, I think it's kind of around the, the halfway mark. It's about a hundred or so pages in, I think. Um, they, they kind of end up, they hit the halfway mark. And uh, that's when the sexual stuff comes in. And the, the sex stuff actually comes in pretty early on. Um, 
when Lucerne kind of manages to get into Kate's head, literally, <laughs> uh, psychic powers and such, uh, which was a little odd to me. Um, um, that said, I, I will say it's not like the other paranormal romance novels that I've read, and I have read a few. Um, so I have read a few, but it's not, usually it's like the, um, that's kind of the focus is like, oh, they'll talk for two or three pages and then the, the sex scene just goes on and on and on for pages on end, um, which I'm not a huge fan of because that's kind of pointless to me. Uh, that said, <clears throat> The sex stuff, you know, it, it's there, but it's not the focus, which I quite liked. Um, so, um, well, pace, pacing is good, story is good, the writing style is pretty good. Um, tonally speaking, I was a little confused initially because... You know, I wasn't quite sure what I was getting into. And once I'd kind of got into it, I, I noticed there are some serious moments. Um, but they're appropriately placed. So, you know, they go and see a fortune teller at one point and she tells him, oh, well, you have to, um, you're going to have to fight a battle. She's telling Lucerne about this. And she says, oh, you're going to have to fight the hardest battle of, you know, your very long life. Which, you know, comes up to be, turns out to be true. She, he actually does, um, he actually does kind of end up doing that. Um, and winning, <laughs> sort of. Um, but it is kind of a, a more serious moment. There's a scene kind of maybe a little over halfway through the book where Lucerne is attacked by another human. Um, and that is appropriately um, a very grim scene. It's a very, it's very violent. It's very grim. It's very scary um, as it should be. Um, uh, so there are some serious moments, but overall it's, more of a romantic comedy, I guess would be a good way to describe it. Um, there's one scene that actually had me laughing in particular. You know, very early on in the book, you know, Kate's shown up at the house and she's camped out there. And um, Lucerne kind of, he goes to bed and he's not quite ready to wake up. And Kate is singing downstairs but she's singing really off key and um he actually kind of thinks oh i'm not really ready to wake up but apparently kate's ready for him to wake up <laughs> which i thought was kind of funny um and there, there are several little moments like that throughout the book um so yeah it does play as a, a romantic comedy which is a nice change of pace. It's not like Lady of the Forest, which is kind of an adventure romance sort of thing. Um, and it's not like some of the other books that I've read that are in the same genre, um, where you kind of have this simpering, kind of a basket case character <laughs> where, you know, they're kind of, a little, a little bonkers. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the characters are really good. Um, they're fleshed out quite nicely, which is also a nice change of pace. You don't have these one note characters where their only personality trait is, oh, they want to get laid or, oh, they want to go and do this or, oh, they this is the grumpy one. And this is, you know, the, the, the cheerleader one. So you don't get that. Uh, um, so yeah, I think 
Oh, come on. Um, I think that's everything that I can think of. Um, overall, not a bad book. If you haven't read it, um, I do recommend checking it out. It won't be for everybody. I know I say this with every review, but it won't be for everyone. Um, it, it might not be for you. It might or it might not. But, you know, check it out. Give it a shot. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, well, you know, at least you tried it. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. So I'm going to sign off here. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, as always, leave a like, comment, you know, if you want to see more of my stuff, hit that subscribe button. Um, and if you do decide to subscribe, make sure you hit the bell and have it set so that to all notifications so that when I upload, you actually get notified um, when I upload and you don't end up missing anything. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. And I will see you for the next one. Take care.